Hello and welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is August 14th, 2015. My name is Lynn Marquardt and I'm your host. Welcome. Tonight we're going to make some Dear Jane blocks. We're going to catch up on how Allie's birthday quilt for her father came out and we're also going to talk about the agricultural fair that's coming up next week here on Martha's Vineyard. And we're also going to take your your emails and your texts so please keep them coming. Remember, Fibercast is all about what we can get done together in the next 60 minutes. So thanks for joining me. I hope you're ready to relax and enjoy some fiber fun on this Friday night. Let's dive right in. What I thought we'd do is do Dear Jane, J11, the twin sister. That's the one I'm going to do. And I actually, for those of you who may have been online last week, thank you for joining. Welcome back. And you'll recall that Allie, my niece, was making a quilt out of some a charm pack. Well, we had some leftover charms, and I'm going to use two of them in the Dear Jane quilt so that we'll always remember that those are part of it. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. So, here we're going to use two colors. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to use yellow and the green. And again, it's J11 Twin Sister. And as you know, I don't have a twin sister, but I do have a baby sister who hopefully is online right now. I have heard from her via email. She said she upgraded her PC, and it was quite the ordeal. And I'm glad you got through it, KB. For all everyone out there, we know that the technology can be a bear, but we keep on plugging through. When the telephone was first introduced, they probably had problems too. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. So what I did was, before we started, was I actually drew, for J11, I drew a leaf. And we've done this plenty of times before, the, the old leaf... Um, applique. So this is not going to be anything new, but I thought it would be a good way for us to just unwind. It's been a long week around here. Um, just work, uh, lots of work to do. So I'm just cutting out my shapes. I drew six of them. That's how many we have to applique on. And actually, I'm not sure I even showed you what what it looks like. So this is the one we're making. So welcome. I have so many things to share. And right off the bat, I want to say hello to Evelyn out in Pacific Palisades. I did get your box. Bob has it at home. And in two weeks, we're going to reveal what you sent. So I just wanted you to know that it has arrived. And thank you. And for everyone else, tune in in two weeks and you will see what a treat we've received from the West Coast. But we have many new followers and we have oh, some amazing quilt examples to show you. In fact, I'm going to start right off with a quilt from Jean Birchman one of our regulars who from Cider Mill Quilts. She has sent us a picture of two, two quilts. One is an antique quilt that she found with Kelsey. Hi Kelsey, if you're out there, at an antique store and they have together repaired it and have machine quilted it so they're going to get more life out of it. And then she also has a memorial quilt of sorts that she started with a friend of hers years ago. And I have to show them both to you right now. So first, let's see. You're not going to believe these. Here we go. This is the antique one. Isn't that beautifully done? It's just that, I want to say 1930s bubblegum-y 
pinky. It's beautifully done, and now it looks like Kelsey has done a scallop quilting all over it. You're going to get a lot more life out of that. That's beautiful. And then this one is amazing, too. And I'll tell everyone a little bit of a story about that one. Isn't that something? So Jean started to make this with her friend Nancy. Let me see her notes. I think 15 years ago, she said. She, can, she wrote it much better than I can say it, so I'm going to read it to you. It's a memorial quilt for Nancy Barton. She and I, Jean says, she and I started matching quilts, shared fabrics and blocks 15 years ago when I was pregnant with Molly and just before she was diagnosed. I dug it out after she died and have taken my time five years finishing it. She said as she made it, it was lovely to reflect on her friendship with her as she plotted away but it's time to get it to her family and she has been sending Jean some not so subtle hints and I asked Jean can you tell me what those hints are and Jean said sure she actually bumped into both of Nancy's kids this week she doesn't see them they're all grown and she saw them both and then she said she was working another sign while she was working on the quilt and the program from Nancy's funeral from many years ago literally flew off the bulletin board at her as she was working on it. So those are, those are the little things that Jean, Jean thought would just get her over the finish line. She says, made me chuckle and helped me cross the finish line. Well, it's a beautiful quilt, Jean. Well done. Oh, and she also says, oh, so Nancy started this and she made eight of the center nine patches and Jean did the rest. Well, that's great. And I have lots more messages. So again, send me a picture of what you're working on, if you feel like it, at lmarquedant at gmail.com or post it on our Simply Colorful Facebook page or on the Google+. Plus. I'm just going to mark. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that yet, am I? Huh. Where's my yellow? Oh, dropped on the floor. Don't leave, anyone. How's this for good fiber cast? <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out my yellows. And then I'm going to baste them and then put them right on. And I must admit, I'm enjoying not using a sewing machine right now and just sitting here chilling after quite the week and you'd think it would have been an easy week because I didn't have to travel okay one two and then one more actually I should be doing this where you can see me Oh, and what do you think about the quilt that's hanging behind me? It's all sewn together. I'm going to make it big enough or the same size as another quilt I have, and then it's going to go on twin beds out in the garage where Bob and I have been sleeping this summer off and on. I think I'm just going to put a gray border and call it and then just machine quilted on my machine nothing fancy that's when you know you're chilling when you can hear the clock ticking okay. and the crickets cricking or the peepers I hear several of you have been out looking at the meteor showers. That's fun. Okay. 
So literally, you all know what to do. So I literally have basted that, and then that is going to go right in the middle. And I'm literally going to just tack it down right now with my same thread. So there's piece number one. Oops. There we go. What are you all working on tonight? Let me go see who's out there. I brought my entry form up to the fair. My mo mother and I walked up and she, she brought an entry form up for the Windermere Nursing Home or Assisted Living, whatever they're calling it. They, the residents there have made some post art posters that, that mimic the fair. The theme of the fair, I should tell you this, is Rise and Shine. I think that's what the theme is. That's the front cover. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of a collage and I cannot find the artist's name and her art. Her name is too small. McGuire, I think. Um, and what is the... Th oh, Kathy. I'm sorry, Kathy Min... Jeannie. So that's Kathy's artwork. And the theme, I believe, is Rise and Shine, but I can't find that. I have something to read to you. Anyway, it's the 154th Agricultural Fair. And to go back to Windermere, I've discovered I don't complete my thoughts, so you guys need to keep me honest and say, hey, what are you talking about? So Windermere, they have made some collages like this. And they're going to be put into a super collage to celebrate the fair. And my mother and my aunt are going to put that together. And in order to reserve space in the hall, mom had to fill out a, um, an entry form. So she did that, and I have entered my doll. I've not entered any quilts because they asked me to be a judge. So next Wednesday night, for the second year, I am going to go learn how to be a quilt judge, and I couldn't be happier about it. I know how special an honor that is, and I don't take it lightly. So that's what's going on here. Okay, there's the second one. Literally, I'm making a chain of these. That will applique down. One, two. I'm going to run out of thread. Oh, I shouldn't even put that in my mouth. Several have have forwarded that article about putting pins in your mouth. I must say, I've done it. I do it all the time. I don't run with them in my mouth, of course. <laughs> but still. That. can't wait for you to see Allie's quilt that she made. And I apologize for the sound issues last week. That was too bad. She was a cutie. And uh, I'm sure we'll have her on again, if not tonight, some other time. Her cousins have just arrived. And so they are busy 
catching up and playing probably outside in the woods. So they know that they're invited to stop by. So if you hear a lot of scuffle, it's six young kids like Allie coming in the door to say hi, but um, it's probably unlikely that they will be here. But I have her quilt here, so if she doesn't show up, I'm going to show you a sneak peek so that you can see that she finished it. I'm so proud of her. She literally came over um, two times this week and worked on it. Very task-oriented, very, um, you know, she did it step by step. First we, we had to go up to her grandmother's and find a backing. And then she tied it. And then, hey, hey, hi, Cousin Ben, Allie's uncle. And then she came back and put the border on it. Speaking of cousins, thank you, Cousin Ben. Tell Violet and Reed they're more than welcome to come play on Fibercast if they have any interest. We are always looking to share our love of fiber. Are you psyched for the fair? I'll meet you up there. Let's have some tempura. I'm going to try not to have those fries, but you never know. You know the big bucket of fries <laughs> that become a meal? Oh. Okay, so there's three. All right, let's, before I do the other three, I want to read a couple of your emails because they've just been wonderful to receive. I want to say hi to Patty down in Texas and specifically I want to show you the quilt that she has made for a friend. She says she writes, this was earlier this week, Patty wrote, she says, I can finally show you my latest project. It was a gift for a friend that I started, that she started a while ago. Uh, she doesn't know the name, but she bought the template years ago. And it is so pretty. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. It's pastel -y. Who's there? Oh, and there's my sister. Ah, my sister says about Allie coming over, she says, if I had to bet, s'mores with cousins might win out over Fibercast for Allie tonight. I think you're right. And KB says she wishes she was there. We wish you were here too. Soon, soon you'll be here. I'm so glad you're there and you're watching. Mummy's watching too. Okay, so what else? Oh, so that was Patty's quilt. I love this. So that was Patty's quilt. Your friend is a lucky friend. Who's out there? Oh, Norma. Hi, she's watching live. You haven't been on live lately. You've been so busy. She says, she loves my quilt in the background. Thank you. Isn't it different? I'm liking it. I made it, you might remember, I made it out of gray fabric and a charm pack. Um, she says, here is a picture of what they've done on our room yesterday. They'll be done with the block laying tomorrow. Then they start on the floor and the walls one day this week. Hope you have a nice weekend. Thank you. I hope you have one too. Oh, yes. So as everyone can remember, Norma is having a room put on her house, and she's focusing on that, and then she's going to set up her sewing room. Oh, and it's just beautiful out there. Good job. Look at how green it looks out there. Beautiful. Joyce. Hi, Joyce. She says, here's a quilt I'm making for my sister and brother-in-law for Christmas. Oh, I'm so impressed. I thought for sure that I was going to be making Christmas presents by now, but I haven't even begun to think about it. I'm glad you're doing that. We should all be thinking about that. Don't you think? 
So Joyce says, I just bought a house on the water. Oh, they just bought a house on the water. Oh, and I thought this would be nice on her inside porch. Hopefully I'll be able to start your quilt soon. Aw, thanks for Fibercast and have a great weekend, Joyce. Well, your sister and brother-in-law rank. I'm glad you're focusing on them first. Oh, that's perfect. Look at those shells. Isn't that a perfect quilt for the backyard? That reminds me of Deb Linehan's backyard She's having that patio put on, and she is using her d disappearing pinwheel quilt. And she's going to have a big, just a, she said she's going to have a basket full of quilts so that when they're out there and it gets a little cold, they can just put those on, but they can still stay outside. I tell you, the more I think about a screened-in porch, that sounds nice. No bugs. That's beautiful. Looks like applique and lots of piano keys. Love it. Oh, Joyce, I'm so glad you're on. Okay. Oh, Lorna, hi. We haven't talked in a while. She says, Lorna says she's just kicking back and enjoying some fiber cast. She says it's still 102 degrees, so just enjoying the air conditioning. She says hello to everyone. Oh, hello to you, and I'm glad you're cool. Yay, I'm glad you're there. Oh, and Susan, Susan Norton. I'm reading these backwards. These are people who are live. <gasps> oh. Susan says, here's a photo of all of my Dear Jane blocks I've done so far. 34 completed, working on 35 today, but ran out of steam. Knew it was time to take a nap when I started to paper piece, and I was using a zigzag stitch. That's funny. <laughs> she says, I'm all rested up now to watch Fibercast. Oh. Get ready, everyone. Look at all of those. If that doesn't get you going, I don't know what will. Those look great. I love your variety. And how come, like the yellows up there, I love how you use the yellow. And that's unusual. That's kind of, that's gutsy, but I like it a lot. And your orange and your red, I like that a lot. Oh. And Leslie, I want to welcome you. And Jen, welcome to Simply Colorful and the Fibercast. Hi to Linda and Cindy and Tanya and Jean and Chris. Talking about, believe it or not, we're talking about our, our retreat already for 2016. So keep on planning. I'll go anywhere. And I can help when I'm back planning. Oh, and here's a fun one. And then we'll get back to doing some more so that we can save these up a little bit. Pamela, hi. Pamela Black set, writes into us from Lancashire, 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 England. She says, I just found you a couple of weeks ago and I love watching and listening to you. She says, I'm getting back into my sewing after a bit of a slump, thanks to you. Oh, that's excellent. She says, I live in Lancashire, England, but originally I come from Aberdeen in Scotland. Ooh, beautiful country. She says, I'm looking forward to watching you on Saturday morning. Thank you and best wishes, Pamela. Well, hello and happy Saturday morning. Enjoy your coffee and enjoy your day of fibering. Doing whatever you want with fiber. How fun. Okay, so we have three done. Now, before I sew those down, I'm going to find my needle. That would be good. Hello, needle. Well, like scissors, I have a lot of needles. And so I am just going to, tomorrow morning, when we're having our coffee and our muffin, or something yummy because it's the weekend, Oh, I want to tell you about my meals. We'll probably step on the needle. I'll keep you posted. But you can never have enough needles. Like, you can never have enough scissors. Okay. Take two.
look at this, we're even going to use up this spool of thread. Wasn't that fun a few weeks ago on this quilt, using up all that thread? Huh, it's a little things, huh? So Bob isn't here. Bob is back home, and he's not even doing, he's not doing band at our house. He's doing it down the street at one of the band members' houses, and Mike is with him, so that's good. They're having a boys' night out. Of course, I was throwing a little hissy fit when the technology here wasn't working, and he wasn't here. <laughs> It's good that he's with Mike. Hi to Carol if you're out there. I hope you're feeling better. Carol had her appendix out, as, a, as you may recall. What a summer. So now I'm just... This couldn't be easier. This reminds me of the piece of cake quilt that I made years ago that had vines of very modern looking flowers and lots of leaves. And I had such fun making probably hundreds of these green leaves. It's very, it's one of the easier applique processes you can do. That's funny. KB, if I knew they were having s'mores, I'd be over there. <laughs> uh, does everyone know what s'mores are? Are s'mores an international summertime food? You take the graham crack. Well, first you put the marshmallow on the stick. And, well, first, let's see. Let's back up. First you build a fire. No, nope, first you buy the marshmallows, or you make them. In the case of my sister, you follow a Martha Stewart recipe and you make homemade marshmallows. Who does that? My sister did once, and they were quite good. Anyway, you buy your marshmallows, you put them over this, you put them on a stick, you melt them on the campfire, then you take two graham crackers and a piece of Hershey chocolate bar, and then you put them around the melted marshmallow and you smush it all together and that's a s'more. And it's gooey and yummy and very, very, very sweet. And kids do love them. So, what else do I want to tell everyone? I'm so inspired by everyone's quilting. Isn't it good that we can all keep doing it? Our lives get so busy around us, but we've got at least something like this that is meditative. If I'm being really reflective, I'm more calm doing this than I have been all week. Isn't that interesting? It's not like I've been doing physical labor. I just work in high tech and everything is changing so rapidly. This cloud thing is going to change, rock our world. In fact, I spend a lot of time, I've told you this in the past, um, lately, thinking about storing video data all around us. And there's a big police officers conference down in Washington, D.C. next week called APCO. And I am sure a lot of the discussion down there is with emergency management professionals and police officers about how to store all of this video that's happening, I mean, it's in real time, and and they're, they're finding that not only is it a big job to store the video once you take it, but it's taking a lot of people time and people expertise to 
ferret through the video manually and find what you need, whether it's for evidence or for the news or whatever it is. So it's just an emerging field and lots of unknowns. So anyway, how did I get on that? Oh, there's a police um, conference this week. There we go. Can you see? I hope you can see what I'm working on. I'm just kind of working away here. Hi to Chris and Abby if you're out there. It was nice to see your pictures of the Cape and hear that you had such a nice time. Oh, and I've been seeing lots of pictures about rug hooking and Saunders Village out, I think it's in Ohio, and people going out to that. And it's making me think, oh, in the fall, I have a rug or two that I need to finish. And it might be time on a couple of fiber casts to pull out the rug hooking. And of course, we're thinking about the mystery quilt for next spring. Same thing, um, let's see, what are we going to do? Re remind me, just like we've done the last two years, we, I think we start the clues in February and we finish it in March. Oh, in time for the retreat, that's right. So that's still my plan. And I'm open to ideas. Let me know if anyone is interested in something really intricate, in something really modern, We've done one of each. We did one that was very, lots of little pieces, and then we did the second one. So that one was the Daffodil and Crocus one. Then the second one was the Two Color Delight that was really a beginner to intermediate one. So whatever we'll do, it'll be a mystery. Okay, so this is J11 Twin Sister. Now I'm just going to find some thread that matches as closely as I can and do a hidden stitch. Who's out there? Oh, Maureen in Pennsylvania. Hi. What's Maureen saying? <gasps> Uh-oh. She says, with all the s'mores talk, I just raided my daughter's chocolate stash. That's funny. Did you work out today? <laughs> uh that's funny. <laughs> Yum. I hope it's not from Halloween. <laughs> I actually raided a chocolate stash this afternoon. I had, last time I came down, I went to Walmart. And I was looking for some, just some treats to bring down, and I found some some of those 99 cent boxes, like of Milk Duds or M and M's or um, Junior Mints. And so we had frozen a box of Junior Mints. So this afternoon, I went and opened it up. Frozen Junior Mints aren't as good as frozen chocolate kisses. I'm just here to tell you. But I choked them down. And it was good. Oh, we've been having some good watermelon, by the way. If anyone has been reluctant to try it this year, at least around us, they've been good. Sometimes they're not sweet, but this has been great. Very sweet. Oh, so I was going to tell you about the meals I've been having. My mother is a wonderful cook, and she has been making delicious, delicious food, including it rained earlier this week. So it was one of those days that was just we really got some good rain around here all day long, came down steadily. She made a homemade chicken soup and then homemade buttermilk biscuits. Oh, they were good. 
And we had, we've had fresh corn from her garden. Oh my goodness, Maureen says, to the question about her daughter, she says, her daughter is a pastry chef. She has the good stuff. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, that's great. Mm. Who's that? Ding, ding, ding. I so hope the picture is coming in okay and the the uh, sound, I think the sound is, mom gave me the thumbs up as we started. What else? Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you all. I wanted to share a little bit more about this ag fair. I know I'm going back and forth and all around. But again, it's in its 154th year. And back 121 years ago, in the Vineyard Gazette, they wrote about the fair, and I wanted to read it to you. Because it really reminded me of summer. And I must admit, I'm not sure if it uses the word quilt, but it definitely talks about merino wool and other fibers that they're going to bring to the fair. So it's called a call to the fair. Give attention, kind friends, and hearken good neighbors. And for a brief time, abstain from your labors. For our fair is approaching, and whatever your vocation, we entreat your heartiest cooperation. But first of all, farmers, we trust you will note it, the part most important will be what you make it. Bring your fine woolen merinos, your South Downs and Shrop shears, your Chester white pigs, your Suffolk and Berkshires, your Wanadote leghorn and Plymouth Rock biddles, your spaniels and pugs and St. Bernard puppies, your horses, the good ones, you rather too many, that would beat their own record at 8 minutes 20. Now, again, this is 121 years ago. Bring your Devons and Durnhams, your Jerseys and Adernies, your Mammoth Holsteins and Diminutive Brittanies. Bring the fruits of the dairy, your large fruits and small fruits, your pickles and jellies, your canned fruits and dried fruits. Bring your pumpkins and beans, your beets and your tomatoes, your carrots and turnips, your grain and potatoes. Come, ladies and girls, with your knit mats and stockings, that's us, your old-fashioned dishes, souvenirs of all nations, and your moth-eaten relics of past generations. Bring your brown bread and yeast bread, your plain cakes and fruit cakes, and that queen of all frauds, a yesterday's Johnny Cake. Huh? Come, mariners, come with marine curiosities, your baskets and bones and pickled monstrosities. We've plenty of room for your knickknacks and oddities with our butter and bread and household commodities. We want your craft-filled stem and stern and amid and amid ships till there's scarce room to walk fore and aft or after work ships. Physicians will greet you, your wives and your daughters, but leave in your office your home manufacturers, concoctions of rhubarb and quinine, asafetida will care all your ills in all probability, but to judge them by taste in the time on their fashion. Oh boy, can you tell, this is my first time reading it, we're almost done, I promise. Would drive a committee to the verge of distraction. Okay, so let me do that again. But to judge them by taste, meaning these things the physicians bring, like the quinine and rhubarb and asphytida, judge them by taste in the time-honored fashion would drive a committee to the verge of distraction. Come one and come all, builders, tradesmen, and preachers. Come jewelers, clerks, harness makers, and blacksmiths. And to each and all, just a moment wait at the little office that's near the gate. There's a little office near the gate that you have to walk through to enter the fair. So that's a call to the fair. 154th year. And I'm hearing some hellos. Oh, Carrie. Carrie Creswell, what are you up to? Oh. 
Carrie is working on a bridal shower gift. Oh, isn't that neat? Oh, both of these. So this is a table runner and placemats. Love that. And then she says, so I'll read to you rather than reading it to myself. She says, hi, Miss Lynn. These are what I've been working on. My niece's gifts, their wedding present. The to and fro pattern from So Be It. I sewed the rows today. Just need to add the border. At home this weekend, had to get some college stuff with Brenna done and the bridal shower tomorrow. She says, I miss you and see you soon. Well, yes, we're going to be starting up the quilt guild before we know it, aren't we? Oh, I love this one. Very nice. Did you sew the rows together? You are progressing so fast, Carrie. Are you going to web it? I did that with this, and I could. I bet I sewed this up in 90 minutes. Just literally, just like you would a small set of squares, sew these squares together, but don't cut them. So sew one to two all the way down, then two to three all the way down, and you end up with a webbed set of them, and then turn it, and then sew down the strips. Anywho, have a great bridal shower. I'm so proud of Brenna. I see she's winning all sorts of awards. That's great. Brenna is going to Wentworth in Boston. Oh, and Carrie, I still have a program. It's in an envelope here. I thought I had sent it, but I found it in my briefcase. So if you've been looking for it, just know I still have it for you. There we go. Ding. Oh, this is from Cousin Ben. Nicole's here now. Violet would love to be on. She's working on a quilt with Grandma. That's a date then. Hi, Nicole. We would love that. Um, maybe sometime next week. I think what we're going to do, because fireworks are next Friday, is we're going to pre-record Fibercast for next Friday. So let's talk. That's great. Violet is making a quilt with, it's beautiful. It's purples and turquoises, and it's with fabric that she had at her bat mitzvah, which I think is such a such a great idea. Very cool. Okay, one leaf one leaf down. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do this. We have the capability. We have 15 minutes, and we can do it. Oh, but I have to have a drink of my soda. And I wanted to show you, before Fibercast, one of the things that Mom and I did was we were getting out some a soda for me. Two of them were exploding on the bottom like this. Those are hard to stand up. <laughs> But they'll still be good. You just need some ice in the glass. Okay. I'll keep doing the yellow, I guess. Oh, this Dear Jane quilt is going to take forever. But you know what? It's nice to have little mini projects like this. And hopefully after we, after five years of Fibercast, we can look back and Hopefully we'll have all of our Dear Jane blocks done. And who knows, maybe we'll do, maybe I'll do a little um, push. Do you guys ever do that? Like when you, 
you know, maybe you've been working on a project for a long time and you decide, okay, enough fiddling around. I'm just going to power through this. I can see myself taking a couple of, whether it's a couple of weekends or long days and just making like the triangle blocks of the Dear Jane quilt. You know how on the Dear Jane quilt, around the edges, these these triangle blocks. I've done a couple of them, but I just need to sit down and do a lot of them. This becomes a diary. I think I've shown you this. So actually, I'm going to write while I'm thinking of it, right here on J11. It's August 14th, 2015. Um, hand sewed. I know I'm doing this early. I usually do this toward the end of Fibercast. Hand sewed this one during Fibercast. I'll think of more to say in a minute. Okay. I'm not really being particular on the under piece that's being appliqued because I probably am going to cut that away. You know when you have a lot of applique overlap, you really want to cut that out on the back so you don't have, your quilt doesn't end up being really heavy. Little pieces are okay, but a lot of little pieces will add up and it will make your quilt heavier. Oh, and I will, I'm going to show you the quilt that Allie made for her father. And she's going to enter it in the fair. I'm going to have to abstain from that category, of course. Oh, good. Ben just wrote and said, Violet would love to be on. That's a date. Wonderful. Tell Violet her Windermere people missed her. I went for the first time to Windermere to help them make those posters. As I say, my mom and Aunt Nancy do it. And I did not realize that my Aunt Nancy has been going and doing this art class. It's every other Tuesday she does this art class. She's been doing it since she retired here on the vineyard in 1999, if I have the dates right. That means 16 years, twice a month. That's a commitment. And she has a whole set of activities that she does with them. And they love it. The room was full. They come down. Aunt Nancy brings all the supplies and a plan. And for an hour, they just get to create something, like a collage or like a painting or a drawing. And she said they're most interested, like probably we are too, right, in holidays and remembering holidays past and making, whether it's Valentine's or Halloween posters. We're almost done number two. Hmm, I may not finish this by nine. I could even bring this to the beach. I'm definitely doing the beach in the next couple of days. I'm gonna go watch the sunset. Bob's coming tomorrow. Joni! Oh, stop it, Joni. <laughs> oh no. Joni says, hi Lynn. I'm watching you on my live on my big TV. <laughs> it's like having you in my sewing room. Your quilt on the wall. Oh, you'd like that's cool. Take me out of your picture and just look at the quilt. And I have to go to Google to see the rest. Oh, I'm psyched. I'm psyched that you're out there, Joni. 
opening up. I have to do my password. Here we go. It's coming. Oh, this is fun. So Joni says, aww, she says the quilt on the wall is just beautiful, and your guest last week was a doll. Can't wait to see her visit again. Thank you. Wasn't she fun? Don't know what I'm going to start working on tonight yet, and I like the idea of rug hooking. Oh, good. That would be fun to watch you do. Happy sewing, everyone, says Joni. Happy sewing to you. Have you do you do rug hooking? Have you done it? It's so easy. In fact, for everyone who wants to prepare, just get yourself some burlap or some linen and some pieces of scrap wool and some scissors and a bent nail or a hook. And we're going to do traditional rug hooking. And you literally, I'll show you how to cut the wool into strips. Yes, you can use a rotary cutter or a, um, a stripper. And once you get into it, but you can definitely even use your rotary cutter with quilting or you can use your scissors. And it's really, it's fun to make rugs. I'm so glad you're out there, Joni. I have been, my routine this last week has been to wake up with my dog at 3, between 3 and 4. She goes out to the bathroom. I feed her, and then I tiptoe from the garage where I'm sleeping with her into the house, and I turn on the TV, and I watch it. So I can relate to your big screen TV. I can't wait to hear what you work on, Joni. Isn't it fun? Okay. I'm going to do one more of the yellow. I may not get to all of the green, huh? You know what I like to do is pull out all of the basting stitches, which I should have done in a different color so you could see it. But I forgot. How's everyone's disappearing nine uh, disappearing pinwheel doing? My knot isn't big enough. Okay. What else has been going on? Still no word on Brady Deflate Gate around here for you football fans who may be following it. I know Tom Brady is not a favorite anywhere else other than in New England. But we've, we're all watching to see if he really does get suspended for four games. But I must admit I haven't seen news this today, so maybe something has been decided. Okay, I'm just going to cut this a little bit. I'll finish this yellow and then I'll show you the Allie's quilt. And for those of you out there who are going to be at Davy's birthday party, you'll see this quilt again and act surprised. <laughs> hmm. This corner's being tricky. There we go.
Okay. I have just enough thread left. Oh, no, I keep on doing it. <laughs> I'm going to tie this off and do another one. Do another thread, I mean. Oh, it's official. Did I tell everyone we're going to go to the West Virginia football game? October 10th is when we'll be there. I think we'll go a little early and stop at Gettysburg. We want to do the, the car trip around Gettysburg. Remember last year we stopped, but we didn't have time to do the whole tour. Hello. Almost done with this one. <laughs> oh. So, speaking of Christmas, so we're going to do rug hooking. Everyone be thinking about Christmas. If you're going to do Christmas gifts, start now so that we don't stress ourselves out come December. Because that's no fun. That must have been the cat. Okay. So, this is finished. Let's see who just dung, and then we're going to look at Alice Quilt. Dung. What a word. Dinged, dinged, ding, ding, ding. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, Marque. Hi, Marque. And I hope that I've been reading everyone's emails from from in between. Fibercast, but I'm so glad I saw this. Oftentimes what happens is, as I've told, I think I've mentioned, is when we finish Fibercast, then your emails keep coming in, and I read them and thoroughly enjoy them for the next hour, but then I forget to read them to you the following week. So thank you all. Anyway, Marquet says, Hello, Lynn. Just got in from being with my mother all day, helping her get a little baby blanket made. Ooh, fun. She needs for tomorrow for a baby shower at church. Yep. Um, anyway, so I'm watching you now while I fix a bite to eat. This is what I've been playing with. I'm sending three picks. All is wonderful with tonight's Fibercast. Oh, thank you, Marque. That's good to hear. And she says, I'm really liking your quilt that's behind you. Love all that you do, and thanks for sharing your time with us. She said she loves the poem. Have a great weekend to you and everyone. Thank you, Marque. Thank you for being part of this. Oh, and isn't that, oh, neat. Okay, let me show everyone. I'll try to show them one at a time. And I love your plexiglass templates. Well, I'm going to have to scroll it up. So Marque is working with, looks like an apple core template there. And then if we keep going up, look at that last one. Ooh, that's fun. That one I can make bigger. Look at that. And Margaret, 
Margaret says, hi, I'm enjoying your Fibercast tonight. Oh, I'm so glad. Thanks for joining. She says, I'm still recovering from knee surgery, so I'm not sewing much. Spend spending time on Pinterest getting ideas for Christmas presents. Cool. She says, I love to see table runners, knit mittens, and check out different ideas for Christmas. I'm hoping to start the disappearing pinwheel next week. Happy sewing from Maggie. Well, that all sounds good. Isn't Pinterest fun? Let us know what you make for Christmas. I've also been looking on there. And again, I want to welcome Marsha. I want to welcome Liz, Leticia, Pandora681, Louise, Brenda, Fran. So glad you could join us. Here is Allie's quilt. This is just our little secret. You can't tell her I showed you, but I'm so proud of her. Isn't that nice? Oh, and this is Garth. Garth the cat. Hi, Garthy. And with that, I want to thank everyone for joining us on Fibercast. It's amazing what we can get done in 60 minutes. Thanks for playing. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. And we'll see you next week. It may be pre-recorded, but there will be something to watch next Friday night. Bye, everyone. <laughs>